Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to do a review on this brand new Ninja Blast Max uh, cordless blender. It's the 20 ounce capacity. They do sell an XL version on their website, the XL 22 ounce. It has two more features. It has, or it has one more, it has crush and smoothie. This one just has crush. So I did buy this from Walmart with my own money and I wasn't paid for this video. Now, the first thing you are going to want to do is you're going to want to charge it with this cable that comes with it. It is proprietary, so it's not like USB-C. You can't charge it with that. But back here, charge it up until the green light on the front, the power button is steady green. So it does come with its own proprietary power cord. I do prefer when they charge with like USB or C or something, but that's fine. So this is called twist and go. You're going to put your ingredients in here, blend it, twist it off. And you can take this with you. It's got a little handle. You can drink out of it. It is nice and portable. It is very powerful. Um, you don't want to get this part wet. This is the actual motor. So let's actually make a smoothie real quick. You do want to add the minimum liquid is six ounces, and it does take quite a bit of liquid. Um, if, it, if you find that it's not blending, just add a little bit more liquid. Now there is an order. Always add the liquid first, whether it's juice or water, then the fresh fruit, which isn't frozen, leafy greens, then the sticky stuff like the protein powders, the very last thing is the ice or the frozen fruit. So I'm going to add the water. Again, the lid comes off. It's got a nice O-ring on it. This is dishwasher safe. The base is not. So again, you could add juice, liquid, water. I find that I need just about eight ounces of liquid because I'm going to be using frozen fruit. Now, this makes a really great protein powder smoothie. I really do like this muscle lean. Um, I'm not sure, but this is the vanilla milkshake. It's really, really good. So this fruit I have here, this is just frozen fruit you get in the freezer section. Let's add some of it. And then I've got some frozen berries, strawberries and different things. So let's just add it. Oh, now don't, don't make sure you don't go above the max fill. And now let's put the thing on and may need to add a little bit more liquid. We'll see. So it's very simple to operate. You're going to turn it on. It kind of does a self check, make sure it's installed correctly. It is a start and stop on its own. Well, you got to press when you press the blend button, it just blends for 30 seconds and then stops. When you do crush, it's going to start and stop and then stop automatically. So let's do crush, which is kind of like smoothie. It's doing a great job. All right, it's all done. You can just twist. You can take this with you. You got to be a little careful. There is no lock on the lid. So if you do press the lid, you know, in your bag, it could pop open. That's going to be a delicious tasting smoothie. It's very consistent. Let's pour it out. Mm, I just took a swig of that. That tastes delicious. It's got a nice big opening. I like that the lid goes back and stores. It doesn't hit you in the head. It does have a vent at the top. The consistency is really, really good. And I can't, this tastes really, really good. That's some of the best protein powder I've ever tasted. All right, there it is. Wow, that tastes, I'm gonna taste it again. Hmm, that is so good. Now cleanup is super simple. Let's go rinse this out. Okay, we got a little bit of soap in there and simply just hit the blend button. And it's gonna blend. But you can stop it early if you want. It would stop automatically after 30 seconds. Now let's just go rinse all that out. So cleanup was super simple. Um, they do give you this nice little booklet here. Talks about it and everything. And then there's some even some recipes on the back. 
And again, blend, sometimes you gotta kinda hold it a little bit for it to start blending. And crush. Crush starts right away, so. And then turn it off. So I will put a link to this where you can purchase this off of Walmart, the 20 ounce version. Again, they sell a 22 ounce version off of the Ninja website. I'll also put a link to that. And I'll be doing a comparison between the, between the two. I think there's a little bit difference. The 22 ounce, I've got the vessel here. It's a little bit bigger. It was actually, the unit was overheating a little bit. So I'm gonna be doing a comparison. Look for that video coming soon. If you could, please like and subscribe and thanks for watching. So I'm gonna be having a website come up. I don't know exactly when, um, those take a little bit. So it, I'm gonna come up with a website just to dad approved products. I don't know what it's gonna be called, just to dad approved or just to dad, maybe just to dad reviews. I'm not quite sure, but I've got a lot of information on these and I wanna give you a place where you can go and, and quickly get to all of these videos and kind of summarize some of the videos. So we're gonna come up with a new thing called just to dad approved. And if I approve of the product, you're gonna know about it. I'll try to put it on that website. And that way I think I'm hoping to become a trusted brand that you can count on for honest reviews and kind of a, a real world experience with these products. That's kind of what I'm, I'm going for with these. I get them, I read the manuals, use them. I try to use them in everyday life. And that's what I'm really hoping for. So again, I really do appreciate everybody's support. Also be sure and check out my coffee, Just A Dad Simple Sip Coffee. You can buy it at justadadcoffee.com or underneath the video, there'll be a little pop-up where you can buy it off of my store. That'll take you to justadadcoffee.com. I sell it in the whole bean and the ground coffee and in the K-cup. And I ordered mine about a week ago and that's what I've been using in this espresso machine and I absolutely love it. The beans look a little bit light, but it's a dark to medium roast. I think it tastes really good. I've had iced coffee, regular coffees, and I, I've had espressos. So this coffee, the coffee that I sell does really good with espresso, iced coffee, cold brew coffee, and just regular coffee in this machine. And also other drip coffee makers. So if you're looking for a coffee bean that just works in the brand new Ninja Espresso machine, just a dead simple sip coffee. So if you could give me a follow over on Instagram, and I have two Facebook pages, a Facebook page and a Facebook group page. I really would appreciate a follow. I do free giveaways there and kind of behind the scenes and how things are going. And that's the best way to communicate with me. Uh, my group page, you can leave a post and I'll try to answer it as soon as I can, but that's the best way to ask me questions and to see what's going on with the page. And again, I do use affiliate links. I am an affiliate with Shark and Ninja, Amazon and Walmart. So if one of the links down below, you click on it, it takes you to one of those websites and you end up purchasing the product. The product won't cost you anymore, but I will get a small commission from the sale. It is a way of helping support my channel. That way I can continue to do these videos that I love. I really do appreciate everybody's support. If you could hit the thumbs up button, that really does help out my YouTube channel. Hit the subscribe, leave in the comments. Um, if you'd like to see something else reviewed or this compared to something, I look at the comments and I really do appreciate everybody's feedback. So again, if you could please like and subscribe and thanks for watching. So I do have lots of exciting videos coming up. I got the brand new Narwhal Frio Z Ultra. I've got the comparisons I'm gonna be doing. I'll be doing best in class, like a best $1,000, best $700 robot vacuum cleaner, best mopping robot vacuum cleaner. Got the brand new Shark Detect with auto empty station. Got the brand new Shark Carpet Expert carpet cleaner. I've got the Dream H4 wet dry vacuum and the Dream portable carpet cleaner. And again, lots of other detailed videos and comparisons. Dream X40, Eufy X10 Pro Omni, Roborock Q Revo Max V. I've even got this Eufy C20. It kind of snuck up on me. Um, it's in the uh, Amazon. I haven't found it on their website, but I did buy it. Dyson. This is the brand new Wash G1 upright like a Tenneco. The Roomba Essentials. This one's probably not going to be very good, but they have an auto empty station with it. Bissell's got a little new little green machine. I got a detailed review, or my mother-in-law has used the Dream L10S for three months, and I'll be doing a cleaning on it. That's my very next video. Tenneco's got this brand new Go H20. Not sure, looks a little different. And I'll be comparing it with the other robots. And 
We got the Crosswave, Shark Hydrovax, lots of tentacles back here. Here's I got some exciting news about a robot vacuum cleaner studio coming really soon. We bought a building in town. We're remodeling it right now. It's going to be a focus on robot vacuum cleaners, different floor types and different things. So really, really exciting about that. So here's some pictures. We've been demoing the room. We've got, this is going to be a storage room. This is going to be the, one of the rooms with the robots. We put a wall here. This is going to be going into the studio. So we're pretty excited about it. It's going to take us a while. I haven't been making many videos because I've actually had to go here and do some. I've had to do some of the electrical work and quite a bit of cleaning out. So, so again, if you could, please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. And Miss Fiona is keeping a watchful eye out.